Okay, hi. How are you? Have a seat. Okay, Mr. Bennett from Deutsche Bank. Who do we have? So how many people have you talked to about this trade? A few. There's definitely some interest. Oh, my boss would have my ass. And you no, crazy, Jerry? Get lost, Jerry. Fuck you. Which is why you're here talking to us, a wrong number. Sounds like there's a lot of interest. All right. A few people have invited us in just to laugh at me on this deal. Is that you? No. Is that what this is? That's not what this is. That's just how Mark is. Let's see what you got. I'm sorry. You smell that? What is that? What? What's that smell? The cologne? No. Opportunity. No, money. Oh, okay. You smell money. Okay. Chris. God damn it. Sorry. This is your basic mortgage bond. All right? The originals were simple. They were just thousands of AAA mortgages bundled together, guaranteed by the U.S. government. The modern ones are different. They're private. And they're made up of layers of tranches. The highest level AAA is getting paid first. The lowest rated B is getting paid last, taking on defaults first. Now, obviously, if you're buying these, you can make more money, but they're a little risky. Sometimes they fail. Chris? Somewhere along the line, these Bs and double Bs went from a little risky to dog shit. Where's the trash? I'm talking rock bottom FICO scores. No income verification. Adjustable rates, dog shit. The default rates are already up from one to 4%, fellas. And if they rise to 8%, and they will, a lot of these triple Bs are going to zero too. And that, you're too close, is an opportunity. Okay. You're saying that at 8%, the bonds fail, and we are already at 4%? That's right. If they go to 8, it's Armageddon. Yeah, that's right. How come nobody's talking about this? You're completely sure than that. Look at him. That's my quant. Your what? My quantitative. My math specialist. Look at him. You notice anything different about him? Look at his face. Sounds kind of racist. Look at his eyes. I'll give you a hint. His name's Yang. He won a national math competition in China. He doesn't even speak English. Yeah, I'm sure of the math. Actually, my name's Jiang, and I do speak English. Jared likes to say I don't because he thinks it makes me seem more authentic. And I got second in that national math competition. So you're offering us a chance to short this pile of blocks? How? With something called a credit default swap. It's like insurance on the bond, and if it goes bust, you can make 10 to 1, even 20 to 1 return, and it's already slowly going bust. 10 to 1, 20 to 1, no way. And no one's paying attention. No one is paying attention because the banks are too busy getting paid obscene fees to sell these bonds. But wait, you are the bank. I mean, you work for the bank. I bet your margins are pretty nice and fat. Let's not talk about my margins, by the way. Being nice and fat, that's a nice shirt. Do they make it for men? Aren't you the bank? I work for the bank. I don't think like a bank. Big bank, small bank, I like to make money. All right? Let me put it this way. I'm standing in front of a burning house, and I'm offering you fire insurance on it. How can these underlying bonds be as bad as you say? It wouldn't be legal. <clears throat> Nobody knows what's in them. Nobody knows what's in the bonds. I've seen some that are 65% AAA rated that I know for a fact are filled with 95% subprime shit with FICOs below 550. Get the fuck out of here. You want me to really blow your mind? When the market deems a bond too risky to buy, what do you think we do with it? Take a guess. I don't know, you tell me. All right. You think we just warehouse it on the books? No, we just repackage it with a bunch of other shit that didn't sell and put it into a CDO. A CDO? Yes, a CDO. What is that? This is where we take a bunch of Bs, double Bs, and triple Bs that haven't sold, and we put them in a pile. And when the pile gets large enough, the whole thing is suddenly considered diversified. And then the whores at the rating agency give it a 92, 93% AAA rating, no questions asked. Oh, say that again. A collateralized debt obligation. 
It's important to understand because it's what allowed a housing crisis to become a nationwide economic disaster. Here's world famous chef Anthony Bourdain to explain. <laughs> Okay, I'm a chef on a Sunday afternoon, setting a menu at a big restaurant. I ordered my fish on Friday, which is the mortgage bond that Michael Burry shorted. But some of the fresh fish doesn't sell. I don't know why, maybe it just came out, halibut has the intelligence of a dolphin. So, what am I gonna do? Throw all this unsold fish, which is the triple B level of the bond, in the garbage and take the loss? No way. Being the crafty and morally onerous chef that I am, whatever crappy levels of the bond I don't sell, I throw it to a seafood stew. See, it's not old fish. It's a whole new thing. And the best part is they're eating three-day-old halibut. That is the CDO. Well, I just no, need to know how these could possibly be collated. No, so right, somehow sorry, you're sorry, like the Dora the Explorer, and you're the first person uh, 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 who has on, found hold this hold thing. Hold to... on. So mortgage bonds are dog shit. CDOs are dog shit wrapped in cat shit. Yeah, that's right. Institutions treat these CDOs like they're as solid as treasury bonds, and they're going to zero. No, it can't be right. I mean, there, there was 500 billion in housing bonds sold last year alone. The ratings agencies, the banks, the fucking government, they're saying they're all asleep at the wheel? Yeah. My whole department's long on this stuff. They call me Chicken Little. They call me Bubble Boy. A's, zero. B's, zero. Double B's, zero. Triple B's, zero. And then that happens. What is that? That's America's housing market. Thank you. Fucking hey, Jared. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs>